Hello, welcome back to another edition of Northern Southerner Beer Reviews with your host, Jonathan Brown. And we're going local with this one. We're going, in fact, about 20 minutes drive from where I live here. We are going to Newton Aycliffe and we're going to a company called the Steam Machine Brewing Company. And I sent them an email about... Oh, going back about five or six weeks ago and um, just happened to tell them that, you know, I live in Richmond and near Richmond and um, would it be great for you to kind of like um, find an outlet for your beers and that and it ended up, um, didn't think anything of it and about three weeks ago I got an email from Steam Machine saying thanks, you know, for for pointing out a retailer in Richmond and um, we're stocking their beers there now. So I went down to um, my local shop and there, behold, was a load of steam machine beers in the bottom of the fridge. So I picked up a couple, I'll do, I'll do one now and um, I'll do one in a couple of weeks time. And it's Steam Machine's Afternoon Tea. More tea vigor, lovely jubbly. 6.5% ABV as you can see there, there is the side of it, I shall read a little bit to you, there is the uh, price, £2.89, so a little bit steep, but you know, never mind, if it's supporting a local brewery, you got to do it, innit? So, first off, I do like the label, nice kind of like steampunk um, effect there. I'm a big fan of steampunk, I think it's great. Um, so I'll read, it says from the steam machine, uh, crafted with an engineer's precision and an artist's uh, vision. Afternoon tea, 6.5% ABV. Named after one of the finest Brit of British traditions, this is an intense modern IPA, infused with the highest quality Earl Grey loose tea leaves. Can I, oh. It's a bit weird that ain't it? Earl Grey tea leaves. Sounds alright. Um, expertly blended by one of England's oldest tea merchants. Aromas of bergamot orange and spring flowers come to mind with this. And if anybody want any steam machine beers out there, uh, the address is the Steam Machine Brewing Company, Unit 22A. Um, Eyes Centre, Horndale Avenue, Newton Aycliffe, DL5, 6OS. So, let's crack her open, like you do. And there is the plain steam machine crown. And let's see what we get. Beautiful, it is orange, definitely a beautiful orange skin coming through. There's a big juicy pear there as well. A big juicy apricot. It smells really, really nice. It, it, it's, it's really fruity. It, it smells like on like a, a fresh fruit bowl on a summer's day of you know real white fruit. It smells wonderful. It really does. Like it, it smells really nice. Really nice. I'll tell you, it smells nice. Let's pour out. She's coming out quite ruby-ish. And I was picking up the Earl Grey from the neck. Definitely Earl Grey there. And again, it's kind of like the fruit has subsided, but you're getting like a loose tea leaf aroma from it. It smells... Refreshing comes to mind. It smells clean as well. These aromas, they're very defined from this beer. It, 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 that, you know, sometimes when you smell a beer, you have to really concentrate sometimes to pick up certain aromas. Some, some aromas don't really, excuse me, come naturally to you. On this beer, the aromas are very defined, they're very clear to you as you smell it. And definitely, 
the orange and that tea are coming through beautifully. They really are. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, it's bottle conditioned, I think. Looking at it, cause it's quite. I can see. I see it's unfiltered. Um, but it does look. It does look interesting. This one. So cheers. I'm gonna go in. feels a little thin it feels a little thin in body but what you get first is a big big whack of bitterness like um, a grapefruit bitterness coming through there is a hint of tea I have to admit that, that, it, that it, it feels like you know you get your lemon tea and stuff like that this feels like cup of iced tea with grapefruit in it that is the best way to sum this one up not much where the carbonation is concerned there's, there's not much going on there but it doesn't feel strong you don't get any real elements of an alcoholic kick out of it but what you do get is a very very bitter clean finish to this beer um, I can see myself having this beer with food more than having it with a on a session um, I see this beer having it with something quite herby um, actually a mixed salad I think would go well with this it, it does feel like a summery beer more than anything else it feels like um, a beer to have on a hot, hot summer's day in the garden it, um, I couldn't envisage, envisage myself having this one in the winter to be honest but if, it does taste really good very big overpowering bitterness and um, you know I definitely recommend this one I think it's um, a great beer to have to um, to come and eat something to eat definitely um, I could see myself sessioning in it it's not that type of beer really I don't think anyway but all in all it's, it's not bad at all so boys and girls get yourself down to Newton A Cliff or up to Newton A Cliff depending from where you're from if you're from the south like me you're going up to Newton A Cliff but if you're from the north you're going down to Newton A Cliff Steam Machine Afternoon Tea Not bad at all that one Not bad, interesting Very interesting beer to be honest Little If there's any kind of constructive criticism I have About this one Is that Put what hops you're using in this Put what hops and what malts you're using You know, people like to know And I think, you know, a little bit more information goes a long way Especially for us beer drinkers anyway So Thanks for watching this review Check out the old steam machine brewing and I'll see you again on my next one. So cheers.